Hey, this is Gary G with the Inland Valley News here at the Staples Center after the home debut for the Los Angeles Sparks against the Phoenix Mercury. The contest was won by the Mercury by a score of 74-69. Stay tuned for videos and interviews to follow. after this game against the Phoenix Mercury. Talk about the team's performance tonight. It was quite, you guys were leading in the end, but come up a little short. Well, I think we definitely can't <clears throat> have starts mm -hmm. like we did um, to the first half and, and also to the second half. You know, um, we came out and came out a little stagnant and slow. And then, um, you know, we, we definitely have to rebound a lot better. I think we played, for the most part, good defense. That's a performance. Um, you know, I think it's a work in progress. Uh, obviously, you know, I started off really slow in, in the first first half, especially, and um, you know, we just can't have that from from an offensive and defensive standpoint. Now, Candace, everybody was looking for you to dunk. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, is she gonna do it? But you did the right thing. You took a, a smart took move and went for the layup. Yes, <laughs> talk about it. No, there's nothing to talk about. Um, <laughs> I got a, I, I made a hard layup, so that was it. Well, um, you know, we're going to have to be able to depend on that defense at times, and tonight we're able to be Talk about finishing out the game, especially when you have the lead going down to the final minute. Talk about that. I really thought our lack of rebounding was an issue. Um, but I didn't think it was but then all of a sudden, that second quarter, you had a terrific performance. And talk about what you guys did in that second quarter to, I think, you overtook them. Yeah, you know, our bench came in and gave us energy I'm on the defensive end. You know, getting past the lanes, getting steals, getting those stops. Um, defensively, we played pretty well all night. It was just uh, we weren't able to, to convert. But in the second, we we were able to get those stops and scores. And, and that was hey, this is Gary G. with the Inland Valley News, and I have the man behind the microphone for the L.A. Sparks, and his name is? Huisha Bush. They call me Hootie Hoo. Hootie Hoo, Mr. Bush, my good friend here. Well, what did you think of the home debut? Um, great opening night game. It was exciting. The fans were out. Um, you know, not the ending we were looking for. And, and it hurt me particularly because that's the same way it ended last year, losing to Phoenix. You know, the whole season was over after that. So we got to get, get Phoenix. But it was, it was, the energy was here, and it was an exciting night. Good. You know, I, I enjoyed it. A lot of lively music, a lot of input from the fans. It was exciting. I am impressed. Magic keep was a good here. synergy and keep the energy going. And uh, so, you know, if you if you haven't been out to a Spark game, I'd encourage you to come out, bring a friend. You will really enjoy it, even if you don't like basketball. If you think you don't like women's basketball, you will really, really enjoy yourself. I promise. I promise you. Well, I second that. I, I, I put an amen behind that. It was a performance. It was great. The Sparks were leading down the wire, but oh, the Phoenix Mercury overtook them. Candace Parker was the leading scorer with 23 and 11. What do you think about that? Candace is awesome. You know, we can always, always depend on her. To yeah, it was her. quite an impressive performance. So look for big things for the L.A. Sparks to come. This is Gary G. and Oisha Bush. Bush. Go Sparks. Go Sparks.